a frat boy culture. That is how Activision Blizzard is now being described here in this new lawsuit filed by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing. The state agency alleges that female employees there are subjected to sex discrimination, unlawful sexual harassment, retaliation, and unequal pay. According to the complaint, female employees make up around 20% of the company's workforce. They're subjected to what is described as pervasive frat boy culture. For example, so-called cube crawls in which male employees apparently drink a lot of alcohol as they crawl through their way through the cubicles, often engaging in inappropriate behavior toward female employees. The agency is saying it seeks, among other remedies, pay adjustments, back pay, lost wages and benefits for those female employees in an amount to be proven at trial. The company hitting right back, though, very hard here, saying in a statement, the DFEH includes distorted and in many cases false descriptions of blizzard past. The picture, they say, the DFEH paints is not the blizzard workplace of today. The state agency goes on to say this is all much bigger than just Activision Blizzard, though, that more generally sexism has plagued the gaming industry for decades and increasingly so, it argues, in recent years. Back to you all. Uh, so interesting, Josh, here. And I have to wonder if they say that this has plagued the whole industry. Is there action planned against other companies, and what is the next step in this lawsuit here? So now, what the state agency is clearly making the case here in that lawsuit. Um, it's not just Activision Blizzard. As I mentioned, they do say sexism has been a problem there for decades, and it's increasing. Uh, it's interesting. I did check in with Andrew Erkowitz over at Jeffries. He has covered that industry for a very long time. He covers Activision Blizzard, and he agrees with the state agency. It has been a problem. We've seen that issue come up with other different companies as well. Uh, to bring it back to investors, though, what does this mean? Andrew says at this point, listen, he would consider this for Activision Blizzard a, a distraction for sure. He says it's not a good look, in his opinion, for CEO Bobby Kotick. But at this point, knowing, knowing what he knows now, it doesn't change his thesis on the stock. He still thinks Activision Blizzard is a buy. And remember, they do have earnings coming up here shortly on August 3rd, guys.